<laughs> That's what he thinks to a morning. So we're just having some morning cuddles because I love him. I love you so much. Um, yeah. I have not got up as early as I usually would because I moved the ponies into a new field yesterday. So they've got plenty of grass. It's not as if I'm having to go and feed them hay. We just need to, we do need to go up in a minute, Dill, and check they're all okay. Poo picked the paddock. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I need to ride the M's today. Billy can have a day off because he's jumping on Saturday. And Charlie will see, we'll see how Charlie, <laughs> we'll see how Charlie's getting on. He's been a bit footy. I had his feet trimmed and I think he might just find it a little bit short. But as he is, he's a slow project. There's no harm in him having a day off. There's no harm in him having a year off. We're going at Charlie's pace, not at my pace. If we went at your pace, we'd all be asleep forever. He's so good. I do have a cute dog, don't I? <laughs> I did the curly girl curly girl hair routine. The thing with the dressing gown, I'm sure you've seen it floating around on TikTok. I'm not sure it's entirely curly. There's certainly there's certainly something going on. This bit is that's terrible, but I'm sure it will drop as the day goes on. It's not really the best lighting to show you, but I picked these bouquets yesterday from my garden. So in this one we have gladioli, the white flower, dahlias, is that that one, and some hydrangea. The not all the dahlias, dahlias, dahlias. I know I say it wrong. Not all the dahlias have opened yet. Um, I didn't intend to pick that many, but the branch that they were all on sort of just snapped off. I mean. The plant has grown so big. And then I did this little cute, is this what you'd call a posy? I've got some cosmos, I think they're daisies, but they're not called daisies. Some startis, that's the purpley blue ones. And these are, the pinky ones are zinnias, I believe. So that's quite sweet. Oh, that's not good enough, is it? Sorry, we didn't bring the caviar out this morning. Oof. Flies are horrible, aren't they? The sunglasses, you already know what's up. I'm using Billy's bottom as a tripod here. Is that going to work? If he doesn't move, I think... Yeah, okay, let's... There we are. Oh! <laughs> um, that's not going to... No. No, unfortunately, you can't get the start these days. These youngsters have no work ethic. I'm going to poop pick this paddock. Poop pick the paddock. Poo pick the paddock, poo pick the paddock, poo pick, say that ten times really, really fast. Um, poo pick the paddock, they all look absolutely fine. I feel like the weather is going to get better, so I'm not going to ride now. I'm going to instead go and do some work on the laptop and wait for the sun to come out, and then I will come back out and I'll ride Mr. Jones and McAllister. First things first, though, we've got the very glamorous job. Field. Lovely. That's my favourite thing to do in the morning. That is only half a field. I've only done this front part. I've not done the back. I'll come back and do that. I just need to quickly run and turn off the hose pipe because their water bucket is starting to overflow. I'm going to jump over this fence. It's the quickest route. Obviously been inspired from the Olympics. I'm so bad at running. I'm awful. I've always said I'm built. I'm like a cob. I'm built for stamina and strength. I'm not built for speed. I'm not a naturally athletic person. If you little munchkins could stop pooing so much, that would be wonderful. I definitely look like Hagrid today with this curly hair. 
and my brownie gilet on. I don't want to do any more. I don't want to do it. Okay, so I'm just sat down on the laptop now. I'm not sat on my laptop, obviously. Um, it's my knitting. I'm knitting Baby Dill a blanket. Oh God. Um, it's, it's not perfect by any means. And I did get better as I'm going on. But I've not knitted anything since I was a little girl. So this was sort of a learning curve. And I did far too many stitches. It takes me at least five, if not 10 minutes to do a row, which is very labor intensive, very arduous, repetitive. But it's a labour of love for the man that I love. How are my curls looking? I'm going to stop chatting to you. I'm going to sit down and just get through some emails. So I've taken a break from working because I was going to get all my work done and then come up later and ride. But the weather's actually deteriorating. So I think it makes more sense to pause the laptop stuff ride the ponies whilst it's relatively okay and then get back to work later on but before I get Mr Jones and McAllister in I'm going to just put Billy and Charlie's rugs on because it's definitely going to rain <laughs> Billy What are you doing, Dylan? The problem that we're going to have now is that it's just starting to rain. So I think I've caught it. I think I'm going to be okay. It's going to be a light shower. Pray for me. What do you think, Dill? I think we've played this very badly. I think we should have ridden first thing. Also, I haven't shown you this, and my friends laugh at me for it, but this is my whiteboard to organise who's doing what. So we've got, well, Billy, Mr Jones and McAllister have two weeks shown, and Charlie, because he's just, he's not really doing much, he's just like, these are all day offs because he's been foot sore but I generally just do him week by week. But the others, it's nice to see what they've done the week before and then what they're doing that week. And it's helpful for if I've got a show, I can plan what I'm doing. And obviously I can change these around, but I don't know if it's just me, but I find that even though I can just decide not to do any of that, if I write it down, for some reason I stick to it and I'm like, no, I said I would hack them today. I will hack them today very disciplined. If I write down something, I will do it. So that's my arguments. I don't need to defend myself. To all my friends that make fun of me for having a whiteboard, we'll see who's laughing. I believe I am now what they would call stalling. So I need to get my boots on and my hat on. Get a bridle on Mr. Jones. And then we're gonna go around the field. I could do with working on his canter today. <coughs> The field should be quite nice really because we've had enough rain but not too much to make it slippy. So yeah, let's see how we do with that. I cleaned this hat the other day, the inside of it, and now it smells like blueberry. It's lovely. Oh, yeah, that will be, it's, that sound if you can hear it, it's just started to rain. This is how we're gonna ride. Thursday. I know, boy. I don't wanna do it either. Yeah. One of these days, I'm gonna vlog. And it's gonna be beautiful and sunny. The good news is that the rain has stopped because I spent so long filming a TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. It's Jennifer Rebecca. It's very quality content on there. 
<laughs> it's not. I don't understand TikTok. I think that's for the young ones. Although I still am a young one. Aren't I? We're gonna get on now. Now. This instant. Well, that's Mr. Jones all finished. Put away. <laughs> oh, groundbreaking discovery. Oh, he's fogged up the camera. Today is a very exciting day because for the first time ever, he's just eaten a mint. He normally spits them out and he's like, or just will not take them. And I was just really patient with him then. I was literally holding the mint up to his mouth and he bit it, spat it out. And I gave it back to him and he ate it. And now he's like, Mmm, where are the rest of them? So, you've been missing out on mints this whole time. And actually, you really like them. All I was working on, really, was his canter. Getting him to bend, he's so stiff on his right rein. So I was doing a lot of canter on the right rein, getting him to actually turn his head to the inside. A little bit of flying changes. All around, it was very good. Okay, right. Someone is a very jealous boy. On to the next one. We'll get some tack on him. Him, McAllister. And, um, oh, welcome to the gun show, everyone. Oh dear, put those away. We'll get some tack on you and probably do more of the same. Less, less so flying changes because he's not as advanced as MJ. But, um, we'll certainly work on getting his canter more uphill. I think that's the, that's the, the general gist for today, do you think? Do you concur? <laughs> He's trying to bite my hands. <sighs> Naughty boy. I know I am totally biased because he's mine, but he's such a good looking horse. He's the one that is most improved. Like when he came, I didn't even want him <gasps> before he came. I sort of took him on as a bit of a favor. And he was like this yak that could barely walk around a field. And he had no muscle, no real shape. He still doesn't have much of a bum. He could have a bigger bum. But he's getting there and he looks so well. I am very, very pleased with how he's looking. We need a big juicy bottom though. Big fat bum. Do we? Do we? That is both ponies ridden. I was so impressed with McAllister. I've just been on the phone to my friend because I rang her and I was like, oh, McAllister was so nice. Like he was such a good boy. Well, I said I wasn't gonna do as much with him as I did with Mr. Jones because he's not as advanced, but he actually proved me so wrong. He was lovely. I mean, I first got on him and I was cantering him in a circle and he was sticking his neck out the wrong way, putting his head to the outside. And I was like, no, no inside bend on a circle thank you so i had to just really break it down to him to put his head to the inside on a circle and then after a couple of minutes of doing that he was just carrying himself so well like really holding his own weight i barely had any contact after that and it was just so nice like to feel him like that after how he was for so long just so weak i'm rambling but i'm just so pleased with how he's coming on he just feels so strong, not in a like strong on the bit, just strong enough to carry himself and be balanced rather than relying on me holding him up. So he's having his feed there. Baby Dill is trying his best to um, get into the bowl. If I gave that to Dill as actual food in the morning, there's no way he'd eat it. He only wants it because the big dogs are having some. I'll go and feed Billy and Charlie. We need to do the board. See how excited I get to do the board. Hack field, hack field. I went in the field. So we'll do that, 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 that. Day off for everybody tomorrow except for Billy. He's gonna hack. I better just make some feed for Billy and Charlie before they die of starvation. <coughs> Billy can have some of his. Maxiflex. I don't know if this is just a gimmick, it probably is, but I already have it so I might as well use it. Just to help his joints, because he's jumping a big class on Saturday. He's entered for the 1m30 at Kelsall, which is, it's big enough. 
just waiting to go viral on TikTok. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for me. Um, it's now, it's quite late now, it must be nearly 8 o'clock. I was gonna make some dinner and have an early night. To be honest, I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, I finished on the ponies. I did a little bit of work. I've had a shower. Yeah, I'm just gonna have spaghetti and pesto, I think. I think that will be all. Problem is, is as much pasta as I cook, is what I will eat, so oh, I'll put a bit of salt. Nah. A bit of water. Well, my dinner is cooking away nicely, so I'm going to eat that. Maybe watch. I don't know what to watch at the moment. I'm waiting for Handmaid's Tale to come out with another episode on Sunday, but as it is a Wednesday today, I don't know what to watch. I don't know. I'm going to have some dinner, watch a series or something, and have an early night because I'm super tired. Super duper tired. So that will be all. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.